Hi, lovelies. Welcome to Coffee Spiritual Chat. We're going to call this a new series. We're going to call it something, something with coffee, something with spirituality, something with chat, because I tell you, I take a couple of sips of my coffee and then I pop off. And so I wanted to talk today about trading fear for desire, replacing fear with desire. And I bet after our chat today, you will not ever see fear in the same way again. And you will not ever see the specific things that you're afraid of in the same way again. So a lot of us are, because of the things going on in the world, are being really pushed up against our fears in an unexpected way. And I think it is challenging all of us to reach for something more. And that's what's been going on with me. And I've been studying law of attraction. And I know the importance of holding a high vibration and focusing my thoughts on positive subjects and positive things. But in the last month or so, I have been backsliding and I've been falling into worry and I've been spiraling. I've been kind of going back and forth from feeling really good to feeling (laughs) not so good. And I am more aware now than I ever have been of my thoughts and my thought process. And I take it all as information, valuable information. So what does trading fear for desire mean? Well, let's talk about that. A fear of loneliness is really a desire for connection. A fear of poverty is really a desire for abundance. A fear of being harmed is really a desire to feel safe and secure. And so I've been looking at that and I've been looking at ways I can tip the scales. I can tip the scales. just a little bit and bring the focus from fear to this is a desire. And what do I know? I know the moment that I start to desire something that the universe becomes aware of it and starts to desire that right along with me. But however, I am a work in progress and I still, I still am looking for a deeper trust and a a deeper proof of that than what I currently have. But I know that law of attraction cannot bring to me anything that is beyond my current point of focus. So... What do you do? Well, you use your knowledge. You use your spiritual modalities and you, you just start, you know, so you've got this train of worry that's chugging, chugging, chugging along. So you're not going to stop it immediately, but you can start from where you are and you can begin to soothe yourself right now in this moment and I have probably in the last few days been going through the biggest transformation of my life. It is literally blowing my mind how 
quick and extreme th this, this personal inner transformation is, and it is a real desire to call my soul self forward. Call my soul self forward. Because what I want right now is not to escape. What I want is clarity. There are a lot of things I could reach for right now in this moment that I could use as a buffer. <laughs> and sometimes that's good. Sometimes that's okay. That's, there's no judgment about that. But there's this new desire in me that I've never had before. And that is to really understand the true nature of my eternal self. Because I know that I am an eternal being. I know that I have all of eternity to figure this out. And right there in that statement, I start to tip the scales and I start to feel that soothing right away. And I don't want to drag myself slowly through the process. I'm at a point right now where I have never had a stronger desire to advance. <laughs> because I don't like these pendulum swinging back and forth and, and, and spiraling and you know I, it's like because I have been giving myself over more and more to joy giving myself over more and more to joy giving myself more and more over to ease. I've experienced what that's like. And so the lower vibrations are even more painful to me. So I want to get out of this, but I just have to face it. I just have to face where I am and where I am has to be okay. Um, I'm not requiring perfection of myself. Daily progress if I can just make a little progress every day right now in this moment that is enough and so in meditation I am calling my soul self forward in meditation I am quieting all of those voices in my mind and allowing stillness so that the clarity of who I am can come through. And so I am using my creativity. I am using my art. I am using, for you, it might be yoga. It might be Tai Chi. It might be Qigong. Um, you know, I'm using laughter and humor because I feel, you know, uh, you know, I've been watching like a lot of comedy specials. Laughter really, I think, does just bust those negative frequencies. I love to laugh. I love to be silly. And so you're going to be seeing a, a, a sillier, less serious side of me probably than you ever have before. And so I preach self-love. I preach self-love. But I am not practicing self-love if I am dwelling, dwelling, dwelling on these negative thoughts. I am not practicing self-love if I am dwelling and 
And right now, in this moment, I am in the perfect position to pivot and take this journey where I want it to go. And I do have all the tools that I need to get myself there. And there's a lot of momentum of anxiety on the planet right now. A lot of us are facing our demons. And that means that there are just aspects of ourselves that need to be transformed. We don't have to go on a long archaeological dig about it. I think that there's a portal opening right now. I think this is a situation that we're in that we don't have to drag ourselves through those old processes anymore. We can ask for assistance from non-physical and think about the cooperative components. Now, that's a th th when I say the word cooperative components, that's another thing that brings me a lot of soothing and a lot of comfort because with every desire that I have to be abundant, to be successful, to feel safe, to feel secure, to feel healing in my body, there are physical and non-physical cooperative components. Cooperative components. Now, I am the only one that's not a cooperative component in it, but I have, mo I have my moments where I come, I'm in alignment, you know, and I, I just want to have, I just want to tip the scales um, through, in any way I can, and I, I, I want, I want to have a new perspective on myself going into the, 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 these next few months. I, I really am expecting good things for myself. I'm expecting good things for the world. I am allowing myself space to be human. I know that um, th these things that I am fearing, these things that are coming up, that I can transform it into desire and get myself back. And, and that fear is just another word for confusion. And what I really want is clarity. And I, I keep hearing this phrase in my mind, quest for clarity, quest for clarity. Like maybe it's going to be a course or a book title or, uh, you know, some kind of uh, guided meditation series or something that I want to create. And so I'm feeling refreshed. I still feel I am in the grips of the fear and the anxiety. But what do I know? I focus on what I know. I know I have the tools to take myself from where I am to where I really want to be. I know that there are cooperative components. I know I am a creature of desire. I am a creature of desire. I will end this little chat and upload this on this note because this is another really powerful thing that I wanted to share that helps to tip the scales. I like saying tip the scales. We're tipping the scales with this conversation. We're having a new perspective on fear, a new perspective on desire. Remember, when you look out the window, when you walk outside and you look at the sky, when I see the sky, I say, this is my sky. 
Those are my trees. This is my road. This is my city. This is my planet. This is my universe. That's my owl. Those are my flowers. This world is for me. Life is for me to enjoy. Life is for me to enjoy. And doesn't that feel so good to say? So I want to just stop right there. If we could just stop right there and not say, but, however, and just say to ourselves, this is my life. This is the perfect opportunity for expansion for me. And I love that. And I have everything that I need to get myself to the next stop. You have everything you need to get yourself to the next stop. You have my love and support. I see the best outcome for you. I see the best outcome for myself. Let's hold the vision together and send love into this situation. And let's see, how do I want to end this? Because I can edit this later. <laughs> We'll end this by, I like to take three nice, soothing, deep breaths, because with just three breaths, you can start to shift your emotional body. Breathe into your cells in your body. So let's do that right now together. Okay, take a deep breath. Clench your jaw, relax your face. Relax the shoulders, let go of all the tension in your body. Much gratitude, blessings.